Well, for more on black churches and the rich cultural heritage they provide, I'm joined by Joseph Williams. He's a former senior editor for US News. Joseph, good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. You know, in many ways, this is truly eye-opening for me. Now, I've known for a long time how important historically black churches are in the United States, but unaware that so many were in danger, shutting down. And before we get into the discussion about the Heritage Fund, I want you to try to help our international audience understand why these churches are just so important. Uh, they're important for a lot of reasons on many levels. Um, during slave times, church was the only time that African Americans who were enslaved could socialize. Uh, they were homes to resistance, where people formulated plans to escape to freedom. Uh, beyond that, they were gathering places for people to talk about uh, politics and the news of the day and to organize and to get action uh, to try to ensure that they had the rights that every other American was guaranteed to. Uh, during the civil rights uh, era, Martin Luther King very much uh, mm -hmm. uh, came out of the church and was very much a prototype of how church leadership came to uh, power the movement and uh, get people together, galvanize them. Churches were the home of the uh, Montgomery bus strike, their home uh, to a lot of the organizing that took place during the 50s and the 60s. And uh, they were even targets uh, of, of uh, counter-revolutionaries. Uh, the 16th Street Baptist Church comes to mind almost immediately. So the churches have a rich heritage, not only in civil rights and in activism, but also in African-American culture. A lot of famous entertainers came out of the church. Uh, we was a church, uh, the churches were very, very much homes to culture and places where people gathered to just sort of be themselves and develop themselves as true Americans. And tell me your thoughts about the Heritage Fund and, and what you think it does offer. I think the Heritage Fund is very, very important. Um, it does uh, preservations for not only churches, but uh, places like schools and libraries, and Louis Armstrong's home is one place. Uh, another example would be uh, the Heritage Trail in Martha's Vineyard, where uh, a lot of African Americans uh, own property, one of the first places they could own property on beachfronts. And even I've had experiences with that because my parents went to a segregated school in the 1950s, 40s, and 50s, and their school was in disrepair until the Heritage Fund came along and helped them figure out ways to preserve it. And that school had a very, very rich history with scholars and athletes coming through it uh, in a small town in Havity Grace, Maryland. There were schools like that all across the nation. So the Heritage Fund is very, very important in at least getting a stopgap and having some of these places preserved. The problem is that the Heritage Fund operates relative to scale a minuscule amount of money. You heard the Reverend in that previous piece talk about the church needs far more than $100,000 in order to be preserved. And as churches become less and less attended, uh, it's harder and harder to raise that kind of money. So let's talk about the funding, where it came from, the hopes perhaps of more funds coming in, and the timing right now could not be more important. There are legions of people across the country arguing that the rights of African Americans that they fought for for so many years are being eroded. So how critical is support at this time? Uh, you put your finger on it. A lot of these uh, rights are being eroded. A lot of these histories are being erased before our very eyes. Uh, people don't want to teach the kind of history about the struggle uh, and the liberation struggle that African Americans went through. And let's keep in mind that a lot of people who can tell those stories uh, from those churches are getting old and transitioning to the next life, shall we say. Mm. So it's becoming more and more important to get these uh, places preserved, get those stories told. I mean, it's, it's, it's almost likened to the Holocaust where so many survivors are passing away that they've got to get those stories recorded before the last generation dies out and the next generation has no idea what happened or what they went through. So certainly in, in cases of churches and in trying to preserve them, uh, we have a very, very strong imperative because history is being erased before our eyes, not to mention very many of these churches are under attack. Uh, the Mother Emanuel Church in South Carolina uh, comes to mind, and over the last five to ten years, there have been a spate of church burnings that have been unexplained, and no one has been able to be brought to account for it. You know, Joseph, I'm sure there are a lot of people glad we're having this discussion right now, but at the same time, disappointed that it takes an event such as Black History Month to bring it to light. We need to talk about this more than once a year. We do, and the phrase that, that, that's so often repeated and is true is that black history is American history. You don't have an American without America without Martin Luther King. You don't have America as it is without the rich cultural heritage of someone like Louis Armstrong, whose home is on the list. Uh, you don't have a cultural heritage like uh, the writers from the Harlem Renaissance, 
all the important contributions that African Americans made, not just to politics and not just to the liberation struggle, but to literature, to popular music. These things are a part of the rich tapestry of this country, and people too often kind of shunt it aside or decide that it's not worthy of preservation. Many of these sites that we're talking about uh, are in urban America that's being regentrified. That uh, some of these homes are being, uh, these churches are being demolished to make way for new modern homes for people to come in at higher incomes. So, Black history is American history. Black history is worth preserving, and it has to happen year-round. It just can't happen during uh, the shortest month of the year.